Yo, what's going on, everybody? Mr. Miola here, and welcome. Okay, okay, every time, every stinking time I do that, I go and take full damage. But welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Jurassic Arc. We are back after a banger of a couple episodes where we have been taming up every monstrosity dinosaur involved with this mod pack as of late. We got Omega Rexes, we got Indominus Rexes, the Ultimasaurus over there, uh, the Soprano Titan. We're basically trying to collect all of the hybrids and pretty much every variant of chaos just craziness that uh, exists in these mods we got this big old juggernaut 32 um the most recent inclusion was of course the evolved ankylosaurus this guy is just an absolute machine of an ankylo and today i hope to continue this trend i do have another guy on my list what list is that if you've been missing the last couple episodes i wrote down a bunch of coordinates i didn't write what the coordinates lead us to and we've basically been uh, going over and just checking out what the coordinates have in store for us today we're going to be doing something a little bit different though because upon or uh, along our journeys we have actually managed to collect a whole ton of genomes and dna genomes and dna that are going to be used to basically summon up or i guess hybridize we're, we're creating we're fabricating dinosaurs that's right we are creating life and we're getting awfully close to some of these we've actually ticked off a lot of these boxes by the end of this series i want to basically have one of everything um but we've got the indominus rex for example we got the we don't have the carno raptor i killed a carno raptor i would never forgive myself for it the dino canis wait we can actually get the dino. Di wait 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 whoa whoa okay hold on a second we can get whatever that is interesting Wait right there, buddy. Wait right there. I don't know what it is, but maybe we can get that. Uh, the Indoraptor clone. I don't know if you can craft... Uh, sorry, tame them in the wild. But there are a bunch of them in the wild. So we're going to look into that. Uh, Stegoceratops. That is one that I want. I have no idea what it is or what it looks like. I think it is actually a dinosaur in um, Jurassic World Alive, the game. But I can't remember what it looks like. Super Titan, we got. We've got the Ultimasaurus. The Inosuchus we're getting awfully close to. We're just going to go and take some Triceratops down. That's a contender for today, maybe. The Gorgosuchus, first one that we ever crafted. The Spinoraptor. I don't know what a Spinoraptor would look like, but I'm very, very tempted to go and try and get one of these. The thing is, we obviously got to kill a lot of dinosaurs to do so, which means, uh, like, we're going to have to basically uh, use our mods to track them down. The Spinoraptor, for example, needs 1,500 Spino DNA. That's not enough. That's probably not enough Spinos to get us what we need. So that's the downside here. Like, we're, we're quite limited, but we're going to go on a bit of a schlein spree, I think, is what we're going to start off with. Uh, then you got these guys here. The Patagon Evolved Gigantosaurus clone. We are actually quite close to this. Uh, we just got to take down a lot of Rugopses, a bunch of Gigas, and a lot of Ankylos. As far as the basic dinosaur genomes go, we've pretty much got it all. That's what we need, basically. Then you got the Coolosaurus. I actually have no idea what the Coolosaurus is. There's two different recipes for it. One of them involves T-Rex DNA and the other involves Ankylo DNA. I think I want to go and try this one here out, to be honest. The Coolosaurus sounds pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've never seen it in here. So, yeah, I guess you can't find one. What is a Dacosaurus? There's not many of them. Or the corpus there's so many creatures in this world that i just i've never run into and i don't know what they are uh what was the other one we wanted to look do the dine dine non dine non canis wait dine non dine dino sutures or the dine on canis wait is that the same thing is that the one that we can actually craft up right now the diet no it's different it's different it's got a different name you know what? Let's start out by just doing this, shall we? Let's just do it. Why not? Turn this baby on, craft it up, and then if we get time today, which I'm assuming we will, let's go and smack up a bunch of ankylos and try and get the remaining DNA. And who knows? Maybe we can knock off two of these guys in one hit. You can only hope, right? You can only hope. We've still got a little bit of um, thingamabobbies from this guy right here. Uh, dust. So we can still use our crossbow. The downside is that we're actually running out of trank darts. Can I craft up any more trank darts by any means? It's been a while since I've uh, since we've done this. I feel like we're going to be missing simple rifle ammo. I had a feeling. So where do we actually craft this stuff again? Over here. I feel like it's going to be gunpowder that we're missing. Or maybe not. We can get a few of them. I mean, that's a pretty good start if you ask me. That's a really good start, as a matter of fact. 
Where did all this gunpowder come from? I'm going to take all of this. We might need it. It might come in handy. All right. Get all 242 of that into me. And then if I want to go ahead and craft some more shranks. Shouldn't have wasted all these the other day, by the way. Really silly of me. We were doing quite well. So we can get 82 of those. Fantastic. I'm sure those are going to come in super duper handily. So our friend here, the Dianocanus clone has been crafted. All that's left for us to do is to go ahead and actually tame the bugger up. I have no idea what a Dino Canis is, by the way. I don't know how big it is, don't know how small it is. Could be massive, could be tiny. Where should we go and summon this in to basically maximize our chances of actually getting this fella tamed up? Oh, oh, OSD dropping as we talk. There we go. I'm actually tempted to go and build something out of... We should build like a, a fence of some sort out of these walls. Because when you think about it, right... Some of these actually have little windows in them. And you could, like, just shoot straight through the windows. Could be a good idea. But, oh, well. Let's just uh, let's do what we normally do and just do something stupid. Where? I got a bunch of... I got a bunch of gates down here somewhere. Where are they at? Here they are. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coming here to collect these. Uh, I guess the idea was to just pick them up. I wasn't sure if they were behemoths or not. A little bit stuck there. It's all good, though. Yeah, I'm just going to pick all these up. Because I guess we can, we can use these to create some sort of larger surroundings or larger cage if we really, really need them to. All right, we got it all. Our tranks have all crafted up. I was actually thinking of summoning this thing inside of... Where is it? There's one just over here. I've, pl I've placed a bunch down ages ago. I don't think this little triangle is going to be enough. So I think what we're going to do, I think what I'm going to do, is place them just over here. That way, at least it's on the other side of this gate. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You know what? Nothing's going to nothing's gonna walk through that at the end of the day, right? Something like this. I know it's like a silly idea, but... You know what? Actually, how many have we got? We only got one more. I was going to say, if we got like a bunch more... I could have done something... We could do something a little bit more creative with this. Hold on. Let me just try this again. That was some silly placements of gates, if I've ever seen some. Also, while I'm here, let's just go and grab the existing ones that we have as well. Okay. I bet you this thing is just going to, like, charge straight out if we... It's either going to charge straight out or it's just going to, like, not care. So, we got five and then we got two. Some are S+, plus, some aren't. Gotcha. All right. So, here's what I'm going to go. I'm going to go one. Uh, I guess we can just... No, no. Oh, man. Okay, some of these lock on. Okay, this is what I hadn't accounted for. Like, you get what I'm talking about here, right? We got a pretty good... I'm just trying to find, like, the next gap that something might sneak through. Maybe, like, just there. All right. That's pretty good. I can run straight out of there. And if this thing isn't very large, surely it'll get stuck. Let's go. Let's do this thing. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, there's a lot of bad things that could happen so close to our base. But uh, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. In three, two, one, go! Uh, I drank it. Where? Where's, where's the Dino Canis? Hello? Uh, hello? Dino Canis? Where are you, buddy? <gasps> Guys, I think I found our friend. It must be this guy over here, the Dino Canis. 25,000 Torpor. Uh, level 460. I'm assuming it's this dude. I've never seen anything like that before. What a weird looking little guy. Also, how did you manage to spawn yourself all the way out here? Okay, I was expecting something much, much larger. But we've got to be careful because this guy is a wild little fellow. And he is in the wild just outside of our base. Buddy, uh, you want to come over here and show me some attention, please? All right, we're already wasting our darts. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's why he's not paying attention to me. Okay, that's bad. Oh, 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 no. He took my gun. Wait, have I got my gun back? I've got my gun back. It's okay. It's okay. All right, go to sleep, you banana. Let's go. Where are you? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Come here. You're a little pest. I'm going to, I'm going to put my, okay, this is bad. Oh, what a little pest. I can't believe that. 
Uh, so that's our new little hybrid. <laughs> what is he? What is he a hybrid of? He's kind of got like a little bit of spino to him. I guess. Maybe. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, he wants simple kibble or some mutton. Well, after all of that, our cage went completely to waste. Uh, I don't know why. I guess... I guess these dinosaurs just kind of spawn themselves wherever they feel when we use the clones. I don't know. Either way, we brought the griffin home, so that's quite nice. Let's go and get our new little buddy a little bit of food. I think I've actually got two of those, and we can grab some mutton as well. We got plenty of that. Let's go and get these bad boys into our new little friend and see what he's made of. See what he's capable of, apart from being a little pest that tries to run into my base. Unwelcome, like. So, he wanted eight pieces of mutton. Ah, uh, that means he's only going to need four. Fantastic. Well done. So, we're going to have ourselves just under level 700. Also, you know what? <gasps> I've got no more strong stuff and narcotics. Can I craft some? Yes. Okay. Let me get some of these old fellas crafted up as well. We wasted... Not that we wasted them all, but we uh we used them all on our... Was it our Ankylo? Or was it the Ultimasaurus buddies? Not the Ultimasauruses. The Omega Rexes. I think it was the Omega Rexes that we ended up wasting all of our uh, starving son. Either way. Get two of those fellas in there. That'll drain that hunger nice and well. And there we go. The Dianon... Dianonican... Dianonicanus. Look at the eyes on him. What a weird looking little guy. So it's kind of like a giant Dialo. Except not giant. But just as a... Fa oh, No! It's a, it's a, uh, what are they called? It's a, oh my gosh, the name is just not coming to me right now. What are the little bananas that always steal my stuff? Oh my gosh. How can I not know the name? How can I not remember the name right this second? Um, the dudes, the dudes who always pickpocket us. Makes sense, because he actually knocked my gun out of my pocket. Ah, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. I've called him Pickpocket, I've called him Bandit, I've called them. I've got a bunch of names that I've called them in the past. But right now, I just can't for the life of me remember what I'm talking about. Wow. Anyways, anyways, anyways. So, if we were to go ahead and try and uh, collect some of this other stuff, what would we need? What should we aim for next? We could go for the Coolosaurus, but I'm really, really intrigued by these Patagon dinosaurs. Because I don't really know what they mean for us. And they seem kind of, they sound kind of crazy. Uh, like this guy. But then again, the Spinoraptor also sounds quite exciting as well, doesn't it? And all we need is a little bit of basic a dinosaur genome and some Spino DNA. You know what? Let's go and take down some Spinos. So, here's how we're going to get this done. We're going to look in here. Jurassic Park's Spino is the name that we're looking for. I'm going to open up my little creature finder here. And the reason we're doing it this way... Is because I don't want to find regular spinos. The only... Oh my gosh, they're so spread out. You couldn't, like, have a whole stack of them all in the same place together. Oh, of course you couldn't. Anyways, we are going to go and smash these spinos into the ground. We're going to grind them into the dirt. Take all of their DNA and see how close it gets us to what we need. These are all Allosauruses. Never mind. It's all good. Let's go smack up some spinos, I guess. That was some pretty swift diving right there, buddy. Oh, I love it. So something else I've actually been uh, curious, not curious, but tempted to do soon, is going a bit of an alpha killing spree. I know you can get like alpha wyverns down here. This is my first time down here this entire playthrough, by the way. Um, but I want to go and smack up some alphas because we need to get our tiny little chibi up a couple of levels so we can increase our max level and as a result uh, allow us to reach level 135 which will unlock a bunch of stuff for us so i really 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 want to do that soon or at some stage at least also wait a second you're holding out on me a bunch of dnas unfortunately i didn't think i saw any spino dna on you but better than nothing there's a spino boom baby yeah a bunch of triceratops dna as well I should just try and find everything while we're out here. Like, I know we're going to need some Giga DNA. May as well take him down. I see some raptors over here as well. Okay, we don't want to get pounced by the raptors there. Lost the raptor DNA. I see another one there as well. Yeah, this is good. There's so many Jurassic Park dinosaurs out here. I did not know this. 
Here's another Spido. You mustn't have hurt. See, we only got 20 out of that. But at least he comes with a couple, <laughs> couple Triceratopses as well. Those guys will come in super handy. Nice. Here's a few more. Yeah, the Triceratopses are like really common. And you get so much DNA out. Well, not that you get a lot of DNA out of them. But they're just so common that you are able to get a lot of DNA out of them. Man, every time I like stop here in the snow area, I realize I really don't spend much time out here. I really should spend more. We just never really had anything to do with it. Also, we should be collecting our Spino sails as well because you can actually turn those into um, Spino DNA if you want to like craft it down. Anyways, boom. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, and of course, he comes with a bunch of Triceratopses as well. These guys just roam in packs everywhere. It's so handy. Oh, what do we got in this supply drop? It's been a while since... Damn. Okay, hold on a second. Long neck rifle, ghillie gauntlets, ghillie mask, ghillie leggings, ghillie boots. There's actually some decent stuff in there. It's just a shame I probably have no use for a lot of it. Yeah. That's what you get. I don't think there's anything else down here that we really need, unfortunately. But I was looking at the... um. Oh, yep. Okay, there we go. There's our token bunch of tracks. We knew they'd be around us somewhere. Um, yeah, back when, uh, back before when I was actually... There's a Ceratosaurus down here. I still got to tame one of those guys. Really got to tame one of those guys. So back when I was uh, looking through our... Um, uh, what do you call it? The transmitter that's showing, showing us all, where all the dinosaurs are. There was an area around here that it was literally along this little river and there was a whole bunch of dinosaurs that i'd never heard of before but i can't remember what it was it definitely wasn't the t-rexes i should go and grab their dna while we're out here though just because why not um oh it was called a rexy there's a thing called a rexy so it's, it's not a not a normal t-rex wait a second hold on hold on you guys just see something show up with my spyglass it said i was looking at a baby what is with all the tracks out here oh my gosh 150 track dna just off of that um it said i looked at a baby and i had like level zero on it i don't know what i was looking at or what caused that to show up though but i don't well i don't know it looked a little bit unusual to see is there a is there a baby is there something called a baby out here is there something I don't know of? Or am I losing my mind? I think I'm just losing my mind. Yeah, this area, this area is so cool. It actually would be nice to try and build a base out here, but... That ain't gonna happen. Not by me, at least. Jurassic Park Kano. I know that those guys give us some DNA. I don't know what you use Kano DNA for. I just got poisoned by something as well. That's not ideal. Take it down, take it down. He's gonna roar, he's gonna roar. Bite him! Thank you. And in typical fashion, we have entered. Don't hit the water, you bozo. I knew you were going to do it. Uh, we've entered a bit of a dust storm by the looks of it. It's been so long since I've seen one of these. I don't think I've actually experienced one this entire series. It's kind of like I've upset the balance of the world. Everything gets so weird when you get hit with one of these weather scenarios. Also, this guy's got a lot of health. Wow. Jurassic Park Spinos are strong. Just got to hit him with that little... Pound, ground and pound, and there's nothing they can do about it. Alrighty. Okay, this is really starting to hinder my abilities. What is this weather? I legit have never seen anything like this before. I, I'm not even I'm not even joking. This is a, oh great. Atmospheric jellyfish. The wind has managed to blow the jellyfish out of the ocean. Uh I can barely move right this second, guys. That's the crazy part right now. Um we're kind of a little bit stunted. So I hope this ends soon because it's kind of bugging me. But something tells me it ain't gonna. All right, we survived the the, the, the windstorm or whatever <laughs> whatever it even is, and we're back out here in the desert. Or maybe the desert just or the windstorm just doesn't reach out here to the desert. I don't know. Either way, I can fly again, so that's pretty nice. Meow. T Rexes, get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. I love how I can just one-shot anything on this guy. I freaking love griffins. Do hello. Superman and Titan. How you doing there, buddy? You just casually going to cruise around. Just another hybrid out here doing his thing. I don't need another one, though. I've already tamed up one of these guys. So, boom. See you later. 
I was really hoping we'd get like a whole lump of DNA out of that, but no, apparently not. Apparently, the dinosaur, who is literally made up of DNA, does not give you DNA when you kill it. I feel like if you kill a hybrid, you should get like a whole lot of stuff in return for it. I don't know. It seems like it would make a little bit of sense, right? Maybe. But then again, we're playing a game about dinosaurs. What makes, like, how, do we, how are we meant to know what makes sense here? The game's literally based on a bunch of stuff that was around millions of years before us. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. Every now and then, we got to remind ourselves not to take this game too seriously. Woo, boom. Sorry, buddy. I didn't think I got any T-Rex. Oh, there's another T. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff down here. Nice. Nope, that was a really, really bad landing. Okay, don't let him roar. That's the shot. That's what you get. Uh, yeah, basically, I've been stopping and just trying to take down as many. Oh, oh, ankylos. I need ankylos for one of the, one of the, ah, don't you steal my ankylo DNA. I don't think I got any DNA out of that, unfortunately. Um, but we actually, yeah, we need like a whole truckload of ankylo DNA for our hybrids. So we should be collecting that. I'm pretty sure that's what we got right here. Hold on. Yeah. We got to make sure we grab that stuff. We need so much of that. We need more of that we, than we need of Spino DNA. So, yeah. We're going to be stopping for every single little bit of that. And I think the reason that that happens, and we didn't get that just then, was because we're too heavy. So, we're going to go and unload a little bit of our cargo. Oh, and I got broken bones. That's not great. Supran oh, Tyranitan. I don't have a Tyranitan, do I? I've got Sopranitans. But not a Tyranitan. Unfortunately, though, I think that that is it for our little Spino hunting spree. It is, isn't it? Dang! All right, that's literally it. Uh, do we have any Alpha Raptors in the area? We've got one Alpha Raptor on the entire map. Alpha Rex. Zero Alpha Canos. One. All right, then, fine. I'm going to go and take down that Alpha Raptor. All right, at least this guy's not, like, anywhere too hard to reach. Can I just get him on that one swipe? Did I, did I got him. Fantastic. And I got to make sure we keep the Raptor Claw as well because we are going to use these at some stage. I don't know when, but we're going to be using them to... Um, oh, gosh. What are you... Oh, to, to, to get ourselves an Alpha Indominus Rex, of course. Duh. Not Indominus Rex. Indominus Raptor. I don't even know why I bothered killing all those guys. I was hoping to get some snake DNA because apparently that's a thing as well. But, eh, all good. And while I'm out here, we may as well go... And say hello to the Alpha Kano, because he's not too far away either. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Hurrah! Okay. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Let's try again. And one more. Should get the job done. That's the way. I don't actually know if we need Kano arms, but I'm going to keep them anyway, just in case. All right. I think we've got quite a good amount of DNA from today. We actually ended up... We, we collected a whole bunch more than I actually expected to. I was only hoping to get the Spino stuff um, to begin with. Uh, but we, we went a little bit further than that, to say the least. We got so much of the stuff. Let's actually have a look at what we've managed to collect. So let's take it all inside. Inside the base that I still keep forgetting to light up with tech lights. I will get to it soon, I promise. But uh, here's how we did. Thousands. 100 basic genomes. We got 609 T-Rex stuff. 92 sauropod, 82 ankylo, th nearly 300 T-Rex, 50 rug ops. I don't even remember killing rug ops, but sure. We got a little bit of everything and only 100 spino. The one that we actually went out to collect, we only managed to get 100 of. But in saying that, we don't need any more spino sales. The spino sales were purely for uh, summoning in the boss. So we can go ahead and sacrifice these bad boys for... So if we light this up here... We can go ahead and craft these to make some Spino DNA. So, how much do you actually get for that again? Uh, there. 133. I think you can get 15. It's actually 148. Yeah. So, you get 15 for every Spinosaurus sale that you have. Do we not have? We got no Spino sales left, though, unfortunately. So, 
that's uh that's all we've got and no we can get another goga sutures but i've already got a goga sutures so what's the point Ah, uh, wow we're so close to this one here though the iron sutures so i reckon tomorrow we're gonna go for the iron sutures we only need like 150 dna from a triceratops that's gonna take no time at all to collect so we'll be doing that guys thank you all so much for watching i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did then please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups but most importantly have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time bye for now